hello guys good morning in this video we will be talking about what are main parts of SCI article and how we should write SCI paper usually there are six main parts of a paper abstract introduction material and methods results discussion and followed by references here we will be talking about one by one Title is the first important part of a first thing which we ever see in any published paper. Usually what happens, title are exactly representative of something which has already been done in the whole paper. So uh, in the first, uh, there is a main big title. Uh, we call it main title, but there are some journals which also need uh, running title but uh, some of them usually don't need so uh, title is important in every journal but sometime running title is only requirement of some journals and after that uh, we need uh, all authors uh, in different styles some journal have a different way like some journal may demand uh, first name at number one position and last name at second position but some journal may also demand that family name should be placed first than given name so all these authors be in order to arrange their affiliation i which means that where they are working which institute or which university they are working and uh, of course among all the authors one of the most important author is corresponding author corresponding author is usually your supervisor in which lab or in which university you are working the boss under which all the team is working that is called corresponding author that's it for title here i will be showing some example from published paper to show author corresponding author and affiliations in this example we can see that uh, this is the main title of this paper here uh, we can see uh, running title is not written here after publication uh, this frontier in plant science this is the journal name uh, you they usually place the running title here at each page we can see that usually it is used as a small subheading so running title is only requirement of some journal and i can show you one example here uh, we can see here is the main title and the uh, running title is absent in this example. So running title is only requirement of some journals, but some journals usually don't ask for running title. And here we can see these are author names and uh, this is first name Yongbin and uh, Pang is family name and in this paper we can see this is also given name and shoe is family name and similarly for all and uh, usually in this example we can see that like that this is a corresponding author which is Shen Jin Wu and usually we place star on this paper that we can uh, know that who is handling this paper and corresponding author is usually act as a supervisor and it means that all the project and all the research was being done under his supervision and in this paper as well in this example this is corresponding author so we will continue to find further like uh, this is title this is author details and uh, this is affiliation affiliation means like rice research institute Sichuan agriculture university at Wenjiang, chandu china so it shows this is uh, affiliation from where uh, these author belong to and where the research has been done and in this we can see that uh, here is the main title and uh, here are authors and here is similarly like that rice research institutes and another affiliation mm -hmm. is chandu academy of agriculture and forestry sciences one paper can have up to six affiliation 
for authors. Abstract is the first part of any SCI paper and in each paper abstract usually tells the, what is the whole summary of main story and usually uh, abstract length varies according to the journal length demands but uh, on, on an average length of abstract usually varies from 200 to 300 or even 350 words so uh, abstract is usually placed after the title affiliations and in the beginning um, one or two lines should be discussing about uh, what is your species on which topic we are working like uh, if someone is working on rice and if someone has worked in rice protein so in the first few line he should discuss uh, one line about rice and another line about that protein so in order to highlight the importance and converting the attention of readers toward this topic and after that uh, beginning we need to mention that uh, what you did and how you did like you need to show uh, what you have done and what are your results how you you need to write your results and uh, after that you can sh show that uh, what is your contribution to science in this example here is the abstract of paper we can see that in the first few line he has mentioned about uh, the crop and he has also mentioned about the mechanism on which he working and uh, here two to three lines he has mentioned about what he did and how he did like here they develop any mutagenized population and uh, they use different elite indica and uh, japonica maintainer lines so here they have also mentioned few lines from material and methods and uh, here is what he did as results from here to here and the last few lines are they mentioned that our study provides an understanding to the role of oscpi k31 in the development by responding to various stresses and phytohormones so this is the studies contribution which contributes to the knowledge and science so we should uh, mention one line at the end of abstract that uh, how this study contributes to the science so another important uh, keywords uh, should mention and uh, one thing we should uh, remind that uh, these keywords are the few words which shows that your research is related to which time so these keywords should not be repeated here in abstract because repetition of words in title and keyword is not scientifically correct here is the second important topic that is introduction here we can see that here author have discussed little about plants and then they have changed it to the attention towards rice and finally they have discussed about the architecture of plants and here they are going to mention about some genes which are already published related to this field and here are few recent genes which are published and they are also going to cite many different references which are already published and uh, here we can see that uh, they are discussing the panicle development and uh, here they are going to discuss the special phenomena of panicle apical apportion and uh, what was the objective of their research and how this study has made contribution toward science the third part of SCI paper is material and method here as author are required to discuss which material and how and which method and which design they have used for this study usually you can repeat the previous material and method which were already published in this section but material and method section should be briefly discussed as compared to thesis writing in usually thesis writing we need to give details of all 
the experimental procedures and every step we have to mention but here is little different we we can quote the citations of previous methods which are already published by saying like that we have followed the method which were already published by like Ali et al. So uh, if we talk about the length of material method it also varies according to the journal demands and uh, some journal also uh, love to write only material and some journal also uh, prefer to write only methods but uh, as a general rule we need to write material and methods and the previous and other thing remaining the same so if we talk about uh, specifically about the length of material and methods it may vary according and uh, to the journal uh, but especially it may uh, ranges up to two to three pages depending upon the journal so uh, we should keep an eye that we the fourth and most important part of a paper are results. So if we talk about results, results are the mainly primary find findings which are needed to report and tell to the scientific community that what we have found in our experiment. So if we talk about length, it greatly varies from journal to journal so but how we should write the results we can write the results by dividing it into many small subheadings so the results and how we can further write the results the best way according to me uh, to write results first we can make a powerpoint ppt that shows all your figures and graphs like uh, uh, that should be placed like uh, figure 1, figure 2, figure 3, similarly like table 1, table 2 and table 3. So first of all you need to design one PPT that may change into um, figure like JPG or TIF or gift fam. So uh, first we should make a PPT with all the figures uh, that what you have uh, done in your experiment you can later on it show to the scientific community that what I have done. So later on you can try one by one that how I uh, did the experiment. So from early to later on stage you can arrange it in a sequential manner. Uh, so let's suppose we talk about figure one. So in first figure one uh, you can make different panels like A, B, C, D, E and F. So don't forget to give figure captions and explaining all the captions like what you have mentioned in A, B, C, D. So uh, in order to explaining how to explain the results, we should explain the results like what you did in figure one panel A, what you did in figure one panel B. Similarly, you can discuss all the results, but uh, most important some people uh, start to give explanation of the results that why they get their results we should never discuss your results you just need to give your results either it is significant or not you just need to give your significance you don't need to give justification of your results because the justification of results belong to to another section that is called uh, discussion section Although there are some journals which usually demand results and discussion should be together uh, digested. So, but there are only few journals. So most likely this method of previously uh, results and discussion uh, was uh, written combinedly. But now all the journals are following the new rule that results and discussion should be uh, separated. So uh, this way. The fifth important part of paper is discussion. So here we need to discuss what we have got in results and uh, how we should justify our results. Like, let's suppose if our results are significant, so why they are significant? Either previous scientists have also discovered that if we do like uh, similar type of experiment either they also get uh, significant results or not so if someone has already uh, already received uh, similar results 
so you can cite them you can tell them that a previous study has already mentioned similar type of results you can discuss so uh, it may uh, varies up to two pages uh, of uh, word uh, so but usually two to three headings are enough for a normal paper so uh, with a proper ending of discussion we we can say that the discussion can be divided into further two or three subheadings so that we can know uh, that this uh, uh, this part of story includes the main discoveries so in order to interpret the discussion you can finally describe your all discoveries into main two or three sub headings and then you can discuss one by one in this section in the conclusion section you need to write a brief summary of your achievements of your experiment and uh, make sure that uh, either uh, some people think their conclusion and abstract are same but mostly uh, maybe they are somewhat similar because uh, you in abstract you also discuss uh, about your results or the main results but in conclusion it differ you don't need to give material and methods you just need to achieve uh, you just need to tell to other people that what you have concluded from the experiment I mean what you have developed your hypothesis in previous uh, introduction and objectives either what was your result either they was proved or disproved so you can discuss them in the conclusion so uh, after the conclusion there are a few other parts uh, which may be acknowledgements ethics for approval and contribution to the authors contribution of authors and uh, fundings so all these are uh, just uh, part of requirement of some journals and uh, of course uh, they are also essential for some journals so in acknowledgement we can refer to some uh, thanks to some people or some institute or some funding institute either if someone has a uh, if someone has helped you in this experiment you can mention their name and uh, if we talks about ethics for approval of publication i mean either you, uh, if you are like if you are using some experimental animal and have you followed all the rules and ethics for treating the animals so another important uh, portion is contribution of author like first author second author third author and even up to corresponding author so which part like uh, who has done experiment and who has contributed for writing and who has contributed for analysis last but not the least you can also mention uh, the funding or by and the projects by which you are working so that uh, uh, it can be acknowledged and you can pay the publication fee from that uh, after conclusion we we can see that author's contribution are given like here author names are abbreviated like uh, Shenzhen Wu has uh, done something for project and uh, YP, FH and uh, QB performed analysis for agronomic traits and biochemical staining stress treatment and accessories for resistance and these author has done genetic analysis and map based cloning and a few author has uh, helped in writing the manuscript and approving the manuscript and the last part is the funding here are the last part of uh, paper that are references and uh, each reference contain author name title publication year journal name volume issue and doi that is digital object identifier so all the author names should be discussed here although in citation we can use at all and for further naming and how to name and how to write references we will be making a separate video for this but in each reference author name should be given in full form and after that we need to write the title of that paper and then we need to write publication year then we need to write the name of journal and uh, similarly like we need also need to which volume and which issued uh, it was published and we also need to write a uniform research locator uh, for its DOI 
So here we can see the examples of a few references like here we can see here is a reference and up to here are its uh, author name and here we can see here publication 2013 is given already and uh, is given earlier and here we can see that this is the title and uh, here is the journal name frontier in plant science that is in given in short form here volume is 4 and uh, issue number is 250 and here DUI that is the unique address to access its online that's all for today uh, if you like the video please uh, subscribe this video